Hello all, welcome to this video on microprocessor lab. Today I'll be talking about how to convert a binary number to a grey code using 8086 emulator. Now a grey code is belonging to a category called as minimum change codes. This is because only one bit in the code book changes when going from one step to the next. It is also an unweighted code which means that no specific weights will be assigned to the bit positions. This makes it unsuitable for the arithmetic operations. It has a lot of applications in fields such as error-free transmission of digital signals, labeling access of a car not map, genetic algorithm, angle measuring devices, etc. Now we'll see how to convert a binary number to a gray code. As given here, the MSB of the gray code will be same as that of the binary number. For every other bit, GI will be given as XOR of BI and BI plus 1. For example, this is the 8 bit binary number. What we do is we will be retaining the MSB as such, which is 1. Then we will perform an XOR between each of the successive bits, that is. 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 0. So this is the final grey code. Now we look into the registers and instructions that we will be using in the program. AL register is used to store the 8 bit binary number. BL register will be where we will be keeping a copy of the AL register which will be later used for XOR operation and CL will be where we will be storing the counter value for the loop. Here it will be 8 since the number of binary digits in AL is 8. RCR is an instruction which is rotate carry write which will rotate the contents of the register one bit to the right through the carry flag. For example, for one bit rotation, we will have the carry flag placed at the right side because this is the rotation to the right by one bit. So the LSB will be shifted to the carry flag and the MSB to the position 6. Now the MSB, the new MSB value will be the previous value of the carry flag. Here it is 0. Then we use the XOR instruction which is doing the exclusive OR. This is the truth table for XOR. For the case where X and Y are the same, the output is 0. For all other cases, it will be 1. We will be also using JC which is jump when the carry bit is set and SHL which will be shift logical right that will shift the values of the register one bit to the left through the carry flag. This is an example shown here. So the MSB will be shifted to the carry flag and the LSB will be replaced with zeros which is inserted from the right hand side. Jump will also be used here which is the unconditional jump and we also use loop which will transfer the control to the specified label as long as the value of CX register is not 0 and each loop will decrement the value of CX by 1. Now we will look into the logic of what we will be doing in the program that follows. We will store an 8 bit binary number in a register. We will keep a copy of it and on one of the copies we will perform a rotation to the right through the carry flag. This will be the result. Then we will do an XOR of this and the initial value which will give us the final result for the grey code. Then we will use the SHL instruction that will shift out the bits through the left side in order to display the final result. Now we will move on to the program. 
we'll begin with the assembler directive assume which will instruct the assembler that the code segment will have the name code since there is no data segment we'll directly start with the code segment followed by a start label to show the start of the program first we'll store the 8 bit number into the al register i have added a suffix b here now this program is written based on the format that is used in the 8086 emulator next i will keep a copy of the value of al in another register bl as we have already seen for both rotate and shift we use the carry flag so it is better if we clear out the previous values of the carry flag which is done using the instruction clc then i'll perform rotate right through the carry flag on al by one bit now this result and the value of bl will be x odd which will give the final gray code now i load the value 8 to the loop counter which is cl because the number of digits is 8 now i'll have a label which is called widths which will signify the code that follows it will be used for printing the result. So this will begin with a shifting to the left side by one bit on the final result in BL. So if the shifted out bit is one, then the carry flag will be set, else it will not be set. So we check it here, jump if carry, and if the value is 1, then we perform a jump to the label 1, where we'll store the value 1 to the DL register and load the function code 2 to the register AH. And then we call the dose interrupt 21H. If the case is such that the carry flag is not set, that is the value is 0, we'll do the same, loading the value 0 to DL function code 2 to ah then we perform a jump to the next label where we will call the dose interrupt then the entire instructions are repeated that is given as loop of bits the set of instructions starting from the bits label will be repeated until the value of cl is zero then the final result is obtained after the loop is completed then we'll end the code segment and end the start label. Now we'll look into a demo of how this program is executed. Now this is executed using the software 8086 emulator. Now 8086 emulator is a free emulator that is used for multiple platforms. It can provide the user with the ability to emulate old 8086 processes which were used in Macintosh and Windows computers from the early 1980s and 1990s. It can be downloaded from the site. Now we'll open the emulator. I already have the code typed in so I'll open that file. I will emulate the code and I am executing the code in a single run. So I will use the run button. And this is the final result that is obtained 11010000. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.